Now, great horned owls, one of their primary foods is mice. They often eat them whole, and then their body tries to extract as many nutrients as possible. Let's take an inside look at how the digestive process works. The esophagus expands to accommodate the mouse as it travels down to the stomach. In raptors, the stomach consists of two organs. The anterior organ is called the proventriculus, or glandular stomach. Digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid are secreted into this organ to initiate the chemical breakdown of food. In owls, the acidity of the stomach does not reach a level sufficient for the digestion of fur, feathers, or even small bones as it does in hawks. The pH of an owl's stomach averages only around 2.3, while that of a hawk averages around 1.6. The contents of the proventriculus then move into the posterior muscular organ of the stomach, the gizzard. Here, muscular contractions grind non-digestible components into a compact bundle called a pellet with the majority of the bones on the inside and the fur on the outside. The digestible components continue on into the small intestine where nutrient absorption occurs. Contractions of the gizzard are pretty intense at first, but decrease in frequency and intensity as time goes by. In owls, between 8 to 12 hours after a mouse has been eaten, the pellet is fully formed and egested. Antiperistaltic contractions move the pellet back up the esophagus, and when it reaches the anterior esophagus, the owl stretches its neck and shakes its head to aid in its removal. And here it is, a pellet from a great horned owl. <laughs>